Hello AP Calculus BC students, Mr. Record here from Avon High School and we're going to take a look at our video number two in the series for our videos dealing with integration by parts, the first true integration technique from Calc BC. So the problem that we're going to look at today from topic 611 has a little bit of a mixture of an algebraic piece x squared and a natural log of x. So if you recall from our first video, we outlined what the integration by parts formula looks like. This integration of u with respect to v equals uv minus the integral of v du. At our school, we affectionately call that of dove at times. And we also talked about this mnemonic Li8 for which you can use to choose what you're going to let u and dv equal. So for our particular problem, the integration of x squared natural log of x, we're going to go ahead and let the u be what the Li8 suggests. So we go through the progression and our first thing that we come across is logarithm and lo and behold we have a logarithm in our integrand. And so that's going to be our u expression which means our dv expression has to be everything else that we see which in this case is the x squared dx. Now if you recall from the previous video, I mentioned how I personally like to write the u and the dv on different levels because it reminds me, and, and it hopefully has reminded several of my students over the years, that when you work downward, you take a derivative, and when you work upward, you take an integral. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take the derivative of this u, and that's going to give us 1 divided by x, and then we can swing our dx over to the right. And then when we integrate the x squared, that's going to produce a v now, and we get x cubed over 3. And there's no need to put the constant of integration because it's not required. Not just yet, at least. Now, it might be worth mentioning, there's a very special reason why Li8 is spelled L-I-A-T-E. We don't want any any kind of situation arise where we have to put the natural log with the dv. We just can't deal with it. We don't know how to integrate natural log at this particular point. Same can be said about the inverse trig function. So those are going to be very commonly seen as your u value in the setup for integration by parts. So at this point, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and declare that our original problem, the integration of x squared times the natural log of x is equivalent to u times v, which in this case would be x cubed over 3 times natural log of x. I'm going to kind of put the v value there first. Looks a little bit better in my opinion. And then we'll subtract the integration of our u, I'm sorry, our v times our du. Got to get those letters straight. So v times the du, if I just write those down, would be x cubed over 3 multiplied by 1 over x times dx. Well, what we're going to notice here is that we can work on this integral, simplify it a little bit, and probably reduce it to something <clears throat> that's easily integrated. So we still have our x cubed over 3 times our natural log. And at this point, when we simplify this, we find that we have 1 third times x squared with respect to x. And that's going to make for a fairly easy thing to integrate. So if we do that, x cubed over 3 times the natural log minus and then this will integrate to become one-third x cubed all over three which will ultimately become one-ninth x cubed and at this point we can go ahead and put our plus c thinking that we probably have a correct answer but my students have always been instructed to use some technology to check their answer we use the ti inspire cas so we're going to go and do that right now so we've got our TI Inspire software all set and loaded. We're going to go ahead and work in this scratch pad. I'll hit shift minus. Um, I'm sorry, shift plus. That will be an integral. We want to do an integral, not a derivative here. And I'll get rid of the boundaries. And then we're going to type in the problem, which was x squared. Let's redo that so I don't have to necessarily yell. x squared multiplied by the natural log of x. And that can be accessed by hitting control e to the x. And if I integrate all this with respect to x, I find out that I have an answer that looks very, very much like what we have 
on paper. And so we feel pretty confident that we have our answer correct. So we'll return to the document. And within this document, we can now officially circle this answer knowing that it is indeed correct. So I don't want to underestimate the, uh, the power of being able to check your answers uh, using some kind of a CAS engine, whether it's something that you find on a computer or your own personal calculator, because you definitely want to see if these problems are correct. Anyway, I hope that helps out. We have several more videos uh, in store for you dealing with integration by parts, and we hope that you stick around and watch some of those. We'll see you next time.